Are we ready for day three of the animation challenge? Let's go. Create this moving typewriter effect animation. And I'm wanting to find a typewriter that is looking head on, but one that I can also get the effect of the paper rising as it's been typed on. So we need to get the angle right. Once we've got the typewriter in place, I want to add a little shadow underneath the typewriter so it doesn't look like it's floating. So I've got a little black shadow that I'm just going to sit almost hidden underneath the paper. I am just going to go to my elements and I'm going to choose the paper with the rounded edges. I'm going to change the colour to a parchment colour and then I'm going to give it a very, very slight corner rounding. We want to hide it behind the typewriter but have enough room and enough height that we can bring up the text and have it sitting just underneath so that it's sitting just ever so slightly visible before we start our first animations. Let's reduce this down to about one second. I'm going to duplicate the page and I'm going to go to my positions and select paper layer and I'm going to move it up slightly. I'm going to type the first of the wording that we want to place on the page and what I want to do is find a typewriter font. I'm going to find one called Special Elite. So that's how I've got the first one and we're going to need to add an animation to this which will be the typewriter animation and we just want it to happen on enter and we'll reduce the speed down a little bit so it comes in a little slower. We want to copy that page and duplicate it and we want to grab both elements and move them a little more. We can copy the text. Here it is. Move that out a little bit so it fits all in one line. We can move that up so it sits quite close. And then we're going to repeat those steps again. We are going to duplicate the page, grab both text and page and increase a little more. So once we have the three lines of text, what we want to do is add the transitions between each slide and we are going to use match and move. The wording is coming in before the page is fully moved, so we have to change the timing of I hope. Select the text in the three dots and bring up show timing. We have to bring it in so that it is going to start appearing once the page is fully moved. So now when we hover across, you can see that the paper rises and then I hope starts to come in. So that's has got our text in place. And there's one more transition to add. And the page fully up so that we can add in a couple of X's. And we just want to animate just the X's again on enter and reduce the speed down slightly. 